So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the sky replacement effect in After Effects. This was for a music video from my friend Tyler Shaw, but let's get straight into it and I'll show you guys a few tricks. So the first thing I did was rotoscope out not only the person, but the background that you see in the distance. And to get the finer details inside of his hair, we switched to the refine tool and then we painted out his hair to get the finer details. You can skim through it frame by frame, just taking out what you don't need and then render out that selection before we move to the next step. Next thing we did was duplicate that main layer and then renamed it sky matte. Then we added a key cleaner effect to the rotoscope layer just so that we can clean up some of the rotoscope and then turned on motion blur on the rotoscope layer itself. Now select that sky matte layer, pre-comp it, move all attributes into it and then go inside of that pre-comp. Going back to our main composition, we duplicated the plate footage once again and then named it track. The reason we're doing this is because we're working with log footage so I added a levels effect and crushed the shadows, pulled back the highlights to their levels and then played around with the midtones until we had enough contrast to make it easier to track. Once you're done that, you're gonna to wanna to pre-comp this also, moving all attributes into the new composition. If you don't, when you do the 3D track in After Effects, it will ignore the effects that you put in there and that's what we need to make the track accurate. Once the 3D track is done, I want you to find some points on the scene, select a few of those points and just create a solid and track it forward and backwards to make sure that it's sticking in the place where you want it to be. Now you can either pre-comp that all together with the sky matte layer or just bring that 3D track into the pre-comp that has the matte layer already inside of it. From here we're going to drag and drop the assets for the sky that we want to use for this composition and turn it into a 3D layer. Select your solid layer and copy and paste the position data to the asset that you put in the scene. From here you're going to be scaling and repositioning just adjusting where we want the assets to be in the 3D space to match the background. Once you place it where you want it to be just duplicate that layer and grab your next asset holding option and drag and drop it on top of the duplicate and it will inherit everything you put on the clip before allowing you to to just reposition it to get it to where you want to be instead of adding all the effects over again. From here you want to select the main plate layer and add a fill effect to it and change it to black. This is good because when we bring it back to the main composition and turn it into a screen blending mode it'll be transparent but allow for the glow and the skyline to be behind your background. Now head back to your main composition, change the blending mode of the sky layer to either screen or add and disable the track layer because we don't need it anymore. From here I added the deep glow effect but you can use anything but just adjusted the value until I found something that I thought would work for the scene. This is completely subjective and just depends on what you're doing. Then I added an adjustment layer, added the levels effect so that I can darken the scene all together to make it look like it was nighttime. This also can vary greatly depending on what your scene is. So remember to use the same idea when you're trying to tweak it just to get a similar effect. I still wanted to tweak the effect a little more. So I added a curves effect and adjusted some of the values and the midtones near the shadows to get the colors to pop a little more. The final touch up was color grading it really using magic bullet looks and then to me it was just creatively going through a bunch of settings to figure out what worked for this scene. If so, if you guys enjoyed this clip, remember to share it, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and comment down below for any suggestions or clarification on something that you're having trouble with. I'll drop a link down below so that you have access to the footage and the project file so that you guys can review it yourself and try it if you guys are having issues and you want to just follow along. Thank you guys for the support. Peace out and I will see you on the next one.